Religious violence on the rise. Three members of the Islamic sect, Ahmadiyya, brutally beaten to death in a remote village in West Java, early February. The man suspected by police of organizing the attack is known as the local leader of the group Islamic Defenders Front. Al Jazeera has found that this group and several like them are supported by senior retired generals. The generals are using the groups in their effort to topple President Yudhoyono because they feel he is too weak and too reformist. The generals are fed up with the president's lies. They have tried to blow up several local issues related to corruption, but they failed. Now they are using the Ahmadiyya issue, and it works. The generals say Ahmadiyya has to be disbanded or will have a revolution. Violent protests against Ahmadiyya and other religious minorities have flared up in the past couple of months. Experts say they are well planned. Chep Hernawan is one of the organizers. He tells Al Jazeera he was approached by a retired three-star general in January. He told me that we should keep fighting our jihad. We should not back down, so the liar can be toppled. One former general told Al Jazeera about his support for the groups and his aim to topple President Yudhoyono through what he calls a revolution. We work together to enlighten each other. Our angle is different. They fight in the name of Islam. We use national politics, but we have a common goal, which is change. We want to save our country, not destroy it. The revolution should be peaceful, not anarchist or bloody. It has been public knowledge for many years that certain hardline groups got powerful backing. This can now be confirmed for the first time. This revelation shows that behind religious violence, a dangerous political power play is happening. On the internet, a suggested cabinet lineup of the so-called Islamic government has been posted. Former army chief Tiasno Sudarto is mentioned as the security minister. A leader of religious protest admits drafting the lineup. I can only say that I've met with generals who want to overthrow the president. I won't tell you anything more. Experts say that the chances of President Yudhoyono being toppled are slim. But with former generals supporting hardline groups, the battle to end religious violence seems hard to win. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.